Hey everyone, welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today, we're gonna make a reversible apron. So on their last live stream on Saturday, just the one previous, uh, we did a one yard apron and I thought, how can we make this project just a little bit better via some of the comments that was left in the chat and suggestions as well. Like we were just following the directions of that project and the directions will be, uh, or the pattern link will be below. Okay. So you can go there and, and you can adapt it anyway. Like there's actually quite a few aprons from there. So this is, I made it a little bit bigger and I made the pocket bigger and sectioned it down the front to have two. So you can have two pockets here. And then of course it's reversible. So I chose two nice complementary colors uh, that would go lovely together. I could have put this color fabric on this pocket or whatever, it doesn't really matter. But it, uh, it's very, it's lovely. And then I left the bottom open. I just put an easy hem on either side and that was it and sewed it together, flipped it right out and then we're good to go. Okay. It makes it definitely more sturdier than the one I made. And if they, if they don't want to have it around the neck, all they have to do is like literally fold up the little tie a little bit or tuck it in the pocket and it becomes like just a waist apron, right? So, you know, and it's perfect. It's got nice little pockets. They don't have to use it if they don't want it to cover up their, their chest or anything like that. So it's a, it's a nice, perfect, uh, all around basic apron, okay? So I made a couple of them, okay? Got this one, which is uh, dark purple and nautical fabric. Okay, and of course on the back side as well. Okay. So how I've adapted this pattern, I made the pocket bigger. I went 12 by seven for the pocket size. And then for the neck, I went three inches instead of two and a half by the 24 that it said in this one. So, and as you can see here, I also made the pattern bigger. I just suited, me being more of a fuller person that uh, I just think this this helps add, add adds that little bit of uh, comfort okay so I just went about an inch on the bottom and hugged it on the side about a quarter of an inch and then around on the curve of the sleeve or this sorry the curve of the arm and then at the top I also left it about a half an inch so it's just a little bit bigger and then because we're not putting a hem on it as well we're going to put two fabrics together it's actually going to make it pretty much exactly the size size it is okay so once you get your template cut out uh your fabric cut out from your template sorry that's what i meant to say and then you got your pockets so i have here is the neck piece done or sorry cut out and i have my two ties i chose to use a tie from each side i've got matching fabric one is a white base with the same print and the other one is a green i thought it would make a nice little apron so and i've chosen to flip and flop those pockets of colors okay so be, be fun with your project right so um, what you want to do is once you sew around completely of your pocket as it put right sides together, you're going to leave a little spot, which I've left right here, a little spot right here to turn it right side out. You're going to poke out your corners, make sure it tries to lay as fat, flat as possible. I spaced it about 10 inches up from the bottom and I used the fold of the fabric as my center to make sure I was laying my pocket out correctly. And then that also gives you a nice space uh, guideline to where you want to put your center line further your pocket. Unless you want a nice one big one, right? You can make your pocket any size you like and make many pockets. You can have layers of pockets, especially if this is going to be like an egg gathering apron. There's, there's those out there too. So. As once we have this cut out and we're going to sew down our pockets on either side, we're going to come down from here, cross and up. And then of course there, if you so want to for both of them, and then we'll finish off the neck piece. And I'll show you a little trick with that, with a piece of string to turn it right side out. If you don't have one of those little tools to do it for you. Um, also the half inch long ruler for, um, measuring on the diagonal for half square triangles is also very handy for that as well to turn your straps out and your ties out okay so here we go let's get going all right let's first sew our pockets and then we'll do finish off our necktie okay, so i have it pinned and equally like i said equally spaced as best you can and of course you don't want to sew the top shut you just want to go with the sides and the bottom Oops. We're going to do a little back stitch because there could be some weight and pressure on this pocket. So we want to make sure it's, it's not going to rip and tear. So just do a couple little back stitches. Okay? And then just stitch about a quarter inch away from the edge. 
come down to the corner, do a pivot. Do that to both pockets. And of course you can put different pockets on different sides. And maybe one side doesn't have a pocket, one does have a pocket. Uh, sorry for the, the boisterous <laughs> little chickens. They will be vacating the shop quite shortly. <laughs> That's the goal. Okay. And like I said, use that fold line in your fabric as you go to put, place your template out, because you put it, place it on the fold, you can use that as your middle. And again, stitching down at the bottom, a little back stitch, and then again at the top, a little back stitch, just to give it that little extra security um, so if the heavy phone or, you know, carrying something from one space to another and it's, uh, you don't want it to rip. Okay. All right. So we'll finish that and then we'll do this one real quick too. And then we'll finish the neck. I love that I had these two materials to make, um, a, a dual apron, a reversible apron with the colors. I think it's really cool. And of course you could use any fabric type you like, like uh, like pattern wise, of course. And of course there's other types of material out there, uh, waterproof, um, um, upholstery fabric, those sorts of things. You can make one out of jean, you can waterproof a fabric. There's lots of methods out there to waterproof or water resistant a fabric that you like. With a couple little, you know, obviously some chemicals. And then straight up the center on this one because I want to make these exactly like. Okay. okay, perfect. All right, take those pins out and then we will finish off the necktie. So you want to fold the necktie or neck piece. Uh, that goes this way. Okay. You want to fold it in half. Just like this, and then you're gonna sew down the one side and then all the way down the long side, and then we're gonna turn it right side out. So if you didn't have one of these tools or a tool to do that, and all you had you were trying to figure out how you were gonna do it with a chopstick or something, use a piece of string or yarn. Okay, but make sure it's gonna be thick enough that you're not gonna pull the threads or it's gonna come through the threads as you sew. Okay, so you're gonna leave that there. Keep it in, keep it in. You're just gonna sew it in. So you're gonna start here the same as you would, come all the way across and then down, okay? Leaving that yarn in there, keeping it snug to the fold side so you don't get it caught in the seam, okay? The only seam you wanna get caught in is that top one. And then straight on down. Like I said, just kind of move it over to the edge so you can kind of feel it. Just making sure it's not getting caught on the long seam as you come all the way down to the bottom. This is a great way to use some really colorful threads. If you want to really highlight it, you could use green, you could use the coral. I used a soft pink. Now, to get it out, to be reversed, you're gonna take it and you're gonna like fold it in on itself. You're gonna kind of pull that um, where it's sewn together apart, give it that space, and then you're gonna tuck that top part where you had sewn with the yarn down in, okay? Give it, give it, give it a head start, okay? So once you got a good, a good space in there, you're gonna go to the other end and you're gonna tug gently Holding this this part straight, I'm just gonna tug gently, and then slowly it comes out the other side. Okay. And then you can just do a little seam rip to pop the yarn back out, and then you can always flatten the corners. But we're just gonna like actually pop this out because it's gonna be tucked in between the two fabrics. So. Just gonna rip the 
for when we head to the top, okay? So we're gonna give that a little press now. Now you can put a stitch on either side. I did that for the straps. I did a stitch on either side of the straps, but for some reason I don't like it around the neck. So I don't, I don't mind it just being just the way it is. Okay. And you'll see I love this fabric so much. I made my little uh, portable ironing <laughs> table out of it a couple years ago. <laughs> Now, now to pin this together, it's super easy. So just take one. We're just gonna work with the one at the moment, okay? So just take the one. And for our neck piece, we're gonna go all the way at the top. We're gonna come one inch in on the long, the, the short side of the neck there. We're gonna come one inch in. That way we can give it, have a nice sew there and make a nice corner. So I just put a little pin in there, temporary, to make sure it's nice and straight. And then we want to make sure our strap is nice and straight, okay? We don't want no flips or flops or twisty, twisty woos. So we want to make sure it's laying correctly. And then about an inch in, and you can put about a half inch past. Okay. There we go. It's good. And then for this... Uh, waist straps okay there's going to be one end that you're is going to be raw and the other one you're going to make sure it gets tucked in and sewn down you're going to do the same about a half an inch in from that arm edge down okay just put one there tucking the raw edge in and of course I'm using my mat as to help me measure but you can like mark it with little chalk or something like that okay now to make sure that these didn't get anywhere that they're not supposed to i kind of tucked them in a pocket okay because i didn't want them getting caught up in a seam so i just kind of pushed them in there but straightened this out <laughs> it's like fighting two birds with one stone there okay now we take the other one and lay it right sides together just facing each other okay Oops, I forgot to seal off the bottom. Okay, so I did it on the green one. So I he went up a half an inch or a quarter of an inch and then up again and sealed it. Okay, so let's, let's do that real quick here. Sorry about that. Pressed and then fold over. And if you do it on equal on both sides, it should be pretty close. And even if it's just slightly off, I don't really worry, worry too much about it. But you could make it so one was more prominent than the other and one hung a little lower. So you could always see that little pop of, you know, purple or green or something from one, one side of the apron, right? Pop it in the ear. Oops, my string just went off the table. <laughs> Whoops! There went my spaghetti! <laughs> Off the table. Today. Okay. Now we go. That way you don't have to worry about the bottom sewing it, sewing it all the way up and making it a completely whole one piece. Okay. Now back to what we was working on. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about the delay. Two minutes later. Now, you take it, like I say, it was laying right on top of each other, right sides together. And then we're gonna take those pins that we had holding the straps in place originally. We're gonna hold it, slip our fingers in between, remove that pin and come up. Make sure it's nice and secure. Same, same with this one. Line it up, grab that pin, Come to the top side and put the pin in there, okay? And then you can add a few more to make sure you're staying nice and straight on your sewing edges. Okay. And then again here, I did it just before the end of the arm and then took this pin out.
and you could do these for Christmas, any season. I think a nice Halloween apron would be kind of cool, especially if you're not sure what to, you know, you're not wanting to really dress up at the door or something like that. And you know, having a nice themed apron, I think is pretty cool. You could rock it. Huh. Easter, St. Patrick's, you know. Make, make one for all the days. I'm going to go down the sides. Just a couple more pins. And then we're just going to sew all the way around. And then that's it. That is it. We are done. Super easy. Very easily adapted. Um, easy pattern to begin with. I just wanted to kind of double it up. Make it just a little bit bigger. And make the pocket a little bit bigger. So, okay. So one set. You got it pinned. You're going to sew all the way around. Except for the bottom. I'm going to come up the side. Round the top. There. And enclose everything. You may... Depending if you are a little bit rough on your straps or something, you can do a couple little back stitches to um, make sure it's going to stay nice and secure. Right. to start. And then come on up just as a quarter inch seam allowance. Just put her on. Steady. And then you can also do, if you wanted to, a nice top stitch uh, once it's all pressed and stuff. I didn't really feel the, the need to, but you certainly can. You can step it up. Now I'm going to, like say, that's where the strap is. So I'm going to go and I'm going to come hit the back stitch, go over the whole thing completely. Alright. Lift my foot and then come around and do the arm. I'll do that at the neck as well. Make sure it's laying nice and straight. You don't want any really curve to it or anything like that. So poke it into position if it's not, not in there. And then make sure. these pins out here. Try and keep a consistent quarter inch. This is a great way to display those fancy stitches you have on your machine, if you have any. Most most machines for the past few years, even the basic one has a few few fun stitches on it. Especially if you've got a themed apron. Just be patient with it stitching out. It goes back and forth and back and forth and sideways and stuff. So, and sometimes you may have to put a stabilizer underneath those very nice decorative embroidery stitches um, just so it, it, it stabilizes the thread as it's doing its process to end the fabric. Okay. All right, take all the bins out and then we'll turn it around. Actually, we're gonna clip the corners first and then we're gonna turn it around. sharp scissors and this if you had like long bits on your strap you can just trim that off take the little edge off the one that's underneath the armpit there or under the armpit and then right at the corner of the top of the aprons both sides just to ease the um, turning it right at side out and having that nice little precise corners okay there we go now Turn it out. Oh, 
Uh, okay, that was there. That's fine. It was like a little. I forgot a pen. Okay. And then just press that out a little bit. So you get your seams right there all pressed out. And then you got yourself a nice little cool apron. Unique. Made by you. Great gift for somebody. Especially if you're not sure where to make them. There's lots of, there's lots of little fun household items, right? Even if it was just a short apron, right? But they also have that uh, ability and, and um, to change it, right? They can make it a short apron if they wanted to. You have to have it across the top, okay? So once you get those little corners poked out, there we go. Oh, I love that. That's super cute. And for, you know, different size people, I'm a sh I'm short tor torsoed. So, like, my waist starts here, and then here's me. So, and then Pop is, like, here, and then, you know, his waist starts down here. So, he's got shorter legs. I've got longer legs. So, you know, even doing a little fold on it to set, set it in the right place for someone who's short torso, it works really quite nicely. So, you know, very nice. Very nice. And, then of course, you have it the other way. Right, whichever way. Depends on what side gets dirty first. <laughs> and of course, it's always pockets with snacks. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Hope you had a fantastic week. Don't forget to join us tomorrow, Saturday, August 13th, for Miss Gwenny and I's 12 hour fun, fun, fun. Seems like the boys may have something a little planned if everything works in their order. I'm not sure. Let's just not count on that right now. But uh, it's going to be fun no matter what. So take care. Big hugs, and we'll see ya. Be good.